Hey there and welcome to finishing off the Kaizoku Spec Ops. So first up I'm going to be highlighting up the reds. I'm just going to be going over that with an orange from the game Extra Opaque range of Vallejo paints. And then I will repaint everything red once I've actually applied the highlight. I may also apply a white highlight before I reapply the red just to give that full tonal range. So I'm going to get certainly the orange, maybe the orange and the white done and I'll show you it before applying the red over the top. So here is me orange and white layer and you see that I've laid up the orange first and then I've also attached white highlights to everything. With the face I really tried to make it so you can see the eyes it's been my absolute priority and bring out all of the details in the face with the highlights and you can see I've also put all the reflections in and everything that I want like that so this is what I've been doing before I paint it red again um, but I'm going to use just the a normal red paint but um, I'll thin it ever so slightly so that it's um, I want it you get quite a lot of transparency from the layer of paint but I want to guarantee the transparency uh, you notice I haven't put any on the com log and that's because ultimately that's going to go um, green because all of my com logs on these guys are luminous green it's like the commonality between these guys and the ninja also a bit of extra white around the edge with the trouser where the because I want that to almost look like it's uh, luminous, it's glowing red and also the reflections on the chest there where you've got the orange going one way and the white going the opposite way across I just thought this would be an interesting way of doing it to see what happens so get on, I'll lay out the red and I'll be back in a moment we go then, this is with the red applied over the top, so I'm trying to see you can see it keeps the definition in his face but it's still distinctly red uh, it gives you loads of your reflections and highlights but maintains the distinct redness also gives you some variety to the red where you've got the orange and the white shining through and uh, may well do some last minute um, just sort of corner touches in with white just for sort of very final highlights the other thing that I think is nice about doing this kind of thing is it gives you lots of definition to all the different pieces of the miniature so like I think one of the standard issue ways of highlighting if you like is just uh, running a light colour around the edges of all the panels which does work, it gives you loads of definition, loads of separation but you also end up with a line running around the edge of everything. Whereas I think this creates a lot more of um, a dispersed lighting effect rather than um, just a, a light edge, if you see what I mean. So next up, I'm gonna just get white and I'm gonna do all of my whites, all of my greys. So my greys is gonna get a white, all my blacks are gonna get a white highlight, and then the white's gonna get sort of a lot more white blocked into it. And I'll be back when that's all done. Here we go then. Done on whites now. On all of not only the white panels but on the um weapons and all of the uh I suppose muscle cordage. I don't even know what to call that to be honest with you. The fake muscles from the armor suit. And I've been working on some reflections also in a couple of places, like in the face. I've added some additional bits of white just to re highlight key points, like on the chest there and in his face, just so you get that. Um, and the optimized detail also, well, you always want to give a little bit more attention to your faces than anywhere else. So next step, I'm going to do the browns and greens, um, but I'll do brown first, 
Should just get a lighter highlight and then a white highlight and then a brown ink. Here we have the browns all done then. And started off from the brown, I've used a heavy brown to run an initial highlight. And I've kind of run that over most areas. Um, so that the brown is varied over most of its range of tones. Then I've mixed white and I've added another tier of highlight. Mix white, added another tier of highlight up until we've got a full range. And I've taken the brown almost up to white, so where it looks white, it's not actually white, but it's it's an almost white. And I think it's quite important to stick to these kind of color ranges where it's almost but not quite white. And then those just those leading edges have been picked out with that near white and a few places all the way around as you may have been able to see. And finally I did, um, before putting a final tier of white highlights or white brown highlights, um, I used first a mahogany brown which was the base tone and mixed with a bit of ink and a bit of water and washed the entire thing in that to blend all the tones together. And then before that had completely dried I used just a straight brown ink wash, it was an old GW brown ink and just ran it into all of the deep crevices and because the ink wasn't, or the other layer wasn't completely dry it just allowed it to blend a bit before putting on the final sort of white brown highlights so it's all, well I tried to keep it as subtle as possible yeah, trying to improve my painting skills so next up is just all the green work and I will point out that on his arm over here there are some straps which need to be turned green so I'll paste, paste them in green first and then bring them in line with all the other green bits and also the luminous eyes and the butt of his pistol which isn't black and painted highlighted edges yet because reasons like I just keep on forgetting to paint it in so I'll get all the details done I'll rebase them and I'll be back in a mo with a finished thing there you go then all done and I've just finished up the greens by first of all using Game of Pet Extra Pake Heavy Grey, which is actually a very green grey, and uh, it's grey by virtue of being a neutral tone as opposed to grey by being the conventional colour grey, which in uh, what chromatic terms is a mixture of any colours which neutralise one another and apologise for the howling wind in the background it's just decided to kick up this afternoon when I'm finishing this one off it's been a funny old week um, sorry this is the only video I'm putting out this week and this is because I've had the man flu and so I just haven't been able to speak and I've been sleeping a lot and lying in bed as you do but I'm getting past it uh, eyes and um, you can see there's also the slight uh, reflection down the barrel and I've put in the sensors so I've done all of the sensors on the gun in green um, I've done his com log in green and I've done his eyes in the blue which is to fit in with uh, the rest of the JSA stuff I've been doing so as ever cool mini or not you decide. I hope that you have found this useful, interesting in some way or another. And that you're getting all of your stuff painted up to the standard that you want them up to. I am trying to push my own painting boundaries, so I'm hoping that with time the painting's improving and at some point I will do a showcase. Um, probably once I finish the JSA army pack I'll showcase the JSA army pack and then I'll showcase my entire JSA army so thank you for watching have a good one and take care bye bye